Breaking news tonight, a system breakdown in the Aurora Police Department. The police chief confirming what the Call 7 investigators reported at 5 p.m. Officers destroyed evidence in dozens of sexual assault cases. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live outside Aurora PD. Jacqueline, this means some, some cases will never get prosecuted. It exposes major problems with the evidence unit here at the Aurora Police Department. All this evidence was destroyed in the last six months, and tonight the chief of police says it is proof of problems with training and systems, and he spoke about what he calls a tragic mistake that they are now trying to fix. It was clearly a failure here on the part of the police department. A frank he admission by Aurora Police Chief Dan Oates, just coming from the home of a rape victim whose case will never be prosecuted because the DNA evidence was mistakenly destroyed. It was a difficult meeting. She was generous and gracious and understanding. Uh, a lot more understanding than I think I would have been. Two weeks ago, police found a DNA match in her 2009 case. But when the detective went to get the evidence from the property unit, he found out it had been thrown out. And it wasn't the only case. Police say evidence from 48 2009 sex assault cases has been mistakenly destroyed. 18 of those cases have been recommended for destruction by the lead detective, but that should have only been the first step. 30 of those cases were destroyed in error by a patrol officer on light duty assigned to the property room. This is a, is a tragic mistake. The chief says he's working on a panel of law enforcement experts to investigate, but until they get to the bottom of the system breakdown, no more DNA evidence will be destroyed at Aurora PD. Occasionally in policing, organizations screw up. We certainly screwed up in this case. Uh, we are deeply regretful of that, and we're doing the best we can to, to fix the matter. And Chief Oates says he is very concerned about one other sex assault case where the suspect matched with two other sex assault cases in Denver. And he says if that suspect is ever identified, it will be very difficult, but not impossible, to be able to prosecute that case. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.